Phil LeBeau joins us now with a very special guest this morning. Phil. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Head Bastion, CEO of Delta Airlines. Beat on the top and the bottom line. Let's talk about the end of last year, but more importantly, what's going on in 24. Strong end to the, uh, to the year, but it was a clean quarter, and that's what you expected if you had a clean quarter, right? That's exactly right. Thank you for coming down, Phil. I know you've had a busy week, so <laughs> appreciate seeing you down here in Atlanta. Uh, I want to thank our team. Our th team did an amazing job all through the fourth quarter, and we did deliver a great set of results. Starts with the operations. Our operational reliability was best in class across the industry all through the quarter. The holiday periods, you know, the Christmas, New Year's, that's our Super Bowl. We show up that 15-day period during that stretch. We served a record 9 million customers on 60,000 flights, 90% on time, and less than 40 cancellations in aggregate over, over two weeks. So that speaks to the health of the business. The demand set is, is following through accordingly. We set a record this year again on revenues, 20% above pre-pandemic levels already in 23 and 24 starting off in a good spot. Uh, just earlier this week, we set an all-time high sales day in our history on Tuesday. So let's talk about 24. 23, Transatlantic was booming. Mm -hmm. And you're strong domestically. When you look at this year, where do you see the strongest growth? I think the strongest growth will continue to be international. Uh, that's where you see a lot of the carriers, both U.S. as well as international, continue to play to. Last year, uh, particularly Europe, was on fire. I don't think one busy season is going to quench the desire, particularly for Americans, to go over to Europe. So I think Europe will still be a very healthy environment for us. Uh, Latin America is picking up, and that also is a strong market. We'll continue to see what's, what's happening in China. China is a bit limited, but other parts of Asia are doing well. But the most interesting thing of all is what we see happening in the domestic system. Our domestic market, particularly in the lower end markets in the back half of the year, where, where a lot of the challenges are in the budget carriers and the low end fares. Yep. A lot of capacity. That capacity is getting rationalized. Supply and demand are coming into better balance. We expect to see an inflection point in the first part of this new year in terms of our domestic unit revenues turning positive. And also corporate travel is up. Uh, again, it finished the year strong and it's picking up again. So we're now probably back almost 90% of where we were pre-pandemic levels and continuing to build. You announced an order this morning for buying 20 Airbus A350s. You're not starting deliveries until 2026, but this speaks to adding that capacity, especially for the long haul flights. Yeah. Long term, our future is international, right? I mean, the domestic system is largely congested. Uh, we continue to grow, we continue to build, but it's bigger planes, not new uh, runways that are being created. The, the skies are congested. I don't expect that changing anytime soon. So the growth in our business has to be international. And we're using this position of strength that we have together with our partners to grow that book of business. And the, the Airbus 350 is a great product. And we're going to expand. That's going to be our, that is our flagship. And we're going to be expanding that with the 1,000 coming in. You do not have any Boeing MAX 9s in your fleet. But you do have MAX 10s on order. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have uh, Boeing planes within your fleet. Have you lost confidence in them as a manufacturer? Are you more concerned about future aircraft you may take from them? I am not. I've not lost confidence in, in Boeing. Boeing is a great company. Now, Boeing is so pivotal to our industry. It's pivotal to our economy. And they will figure this thing out. We don't operate the MAX. So I can't tell you anything specific to the MAX that you, know, you probably know more than I do, Phil. Uh, but when you look at Boeing, you know, I think the, the issue is certainly isolated to the MAX. We fly over 500 Boeing airplanes every single day, day in and day out. It was with you know, magnificent performance. I expect they will solve the issue. And when they do, that's when we'll take the 10. Quickly, I want to ask you about what you said with regard to demand and corporate demand, up to 90% pre-pandemic levels. Is it just a steady increase in terms of the number of companies saying you got to get back out on the road? I think as people saying that, getting back out on the road, I think it's businesses continuing to open and mandate that people be in the office, because if you're not in the office, there's no one to go visit uh, in, in that respect, particularly with the consultancies. The tech companies are the area we're starting to see, see growth. And the other thing that hit us towards the back half of last year were the strikes, both in Detroit as well as uh, L.A. with the, uh, the, the uh, writers. Yep, and two hubs. Those are, those are our two hubs. Those are we're the biggest providers in both those markets. Now that they're back, that business is coming back strongly as well. Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta Airlines, on a day where they beat on the top and the bottom lines.